plan on showing everything I was taught in this competition. I'm showing artistry by choosing to draw this thing and not trace it. I'm showing technical application by pulling smooth, consistent lines. I'm showing gradation by bringing my solid, rich blacks to smooth, feathery finishes. That's ridiculously dope, dude. It's beautiful, it's smooth, and it ensures my way to the finale. In this week's elimination tattoo, you'll be using only black. You'll be able to dilute your ink, make it gray. Black and gray is one of the oldest forms of tattooing. Most black and gray is derived from, you know, old prison style, working with single needle. We're testing you on shading, so your final product should look three-dimensional. When you say black and gray, we're talking about watered down black, not opaque gray or the color gray. I do a ton of black and gray, so I'm pretty comfortable. You know, I'm not really worried. Two hours left, everybody. I really want to have this, like, super f nice, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't want to rush on anything. William wants something a little bit bigger than what I think I'm going to be able to do if I want to really do beautiful, beautiful peony for him. Can we do this? See First, if we have the time. And get to that next. OK. Is that, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. that's fine. It's definitely a little unnerving to go into black and gray up against Shane O'Neill. He's one of the top artists in the country doing black and gray. You know, when I started tattooing, I was immediately drawn to black and gray. When I picked your name, mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. Because oh, yeah. I've admired your work for a while. Oh, awesome, man. I like his ideas, incorporating all the baker's tools. There's some cool elements in there. I'll be able to display, like, really smooth shading. I feel like I have an opportunity to win one now. Yeah, that looks great. I don't want to go home. I don't think you're going home. This is freaking hot, Shane. Yeah, awesome, man. There's some not smooth black and gray stuff out there. From a competitor's point of view, I'm thrilled that in the black and gray challenge, my piece kicked the shit out of everybody else's. Welcome to the night's elimination. All right, Leah. How do you feel you did this week? I'm happy with it. I would have liked to see a little more transition from black to gray. Seems like you put all the black in some spots, all the gray in other spots. You did a tattoo that was the right size, rode well on your client's arm. You did a great job. Thanks. Shane. I'm loving the black and gray work and the drop shadow on the skin. This is what black and gray is supposed to look like. You hit it. Good job. Thank you. Each week, the judges choose who we feel had the best tattoo. This week, that goes to Shane. Thank you. Good transition to light gray. Showed some dimension, showed some shadowing. Exactly what we're looking for. Today, you must create a good and evil tattoo in black and gray. You have five hours to tattoo your shared canvas, and your time starts now. Oh, let's go. We're behind the pack. I'm kind of sweating at this point. It's not going to work. See, that nose is way over there. We need that nose to be over here. The only thing that I'm shaky about is our design, making it look like what? This is a very crucial part of this tattoo. I mean, we have to make sure that these line up perfectly. If they don't, the piece won't work. I'm nervous. We designed this to do this in five hours, and now putting our stencils on is taking a good chunk of our tattoo time. Let's do it. Ready? I've never tattooed a priest before. This is my first one. The priest is sitting like a rock. This guy is not moving. How'd you guys decide who took what? <laughs> we thought that was self-explanatory. Yeah. Steve's the master of evil. In this design, I'm showing gradation by a lot of smooth black and grays. There's a brick wall that has smooth shading. The large areas of her arm have really smooth, dark to light shading. It's a home run. You can use some advice over here. I'm just going like this. Is that right? Do you want to come watch me a second, how I do it? I'm not strong in black and gray. Pretty much just go like that. And then as I get tighter, then I do tighter circles. Circles. Yeah. OK, cool. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Perfect symmetry. This week, we asked you to create a black and gray, good and evil tattoo. We were testing your gradation. You worked as a team, but you will be judged individually.
Jamie and Steve, you guys are up first. What was it like getting the priest? Have either of you tattooed a priest before? Can't say for sure that I have, no. No, definitely not. You guys as a collabo really captured a very intense story and an intense client's emotion. And for doing that, I commend you. Steve. Your use of heavy darks and a lot of light gradations in the syringe and the cracks in the skin really let this tattoo sink in. These details really come at you. It's really impressive. Tattoo Baby and Jesse. Tell me about this design. It took us 37 minutes alone to put on the stencil. Due to the fact that we wanted the whole look to match. I had to compliment you both on the collaboration. It was an excellent team effort. It was really cool the way she put her arms together. Tattoo Baby. You weren't afraid to go in there and put heavy blacks in underneath her chin and then the dips of her eyes. You really got a lot of good, solid, heavy black in there. But then there's also really soft, light grays. Just give this thing a wide varying range of gradation. You have no fear in putting black where black goes. And once again, you're giving the boys a run for their money. You've really, really come on towards the end of this competition. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day Goes to Tattoo Baby. Without a doubt, the best tattoo we've seen from you. We've definitely seen your own style coming out. Very good tattoo. You will have six hours to create a terrifying black and gray demon. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shops. Good luck. So you want to do it on your stomach? Yeah. When the skin is very loose and deflated, it makes it extremely hard to tattoo. It's extremely hard to work on the stomach, and it's a disadvantage to me because it's skin that was now stretched down. I have to make sure it looks damn good mm -hmm. so that I can impress the judges okay. and win this thing. Let me make it clear. Mm -hmm. I do not care if you go home. I don't care if you lose or win. This is going on my body. Don't think that I'm sitting here arguing with you because that's not what I'm doing. No, so. I'm explaining it's, your status in no. the competition is, is none of my concern. What the hell am I supposed to do? I've left my family to come here to win, and this guy's gonna come in my room and tell me that he doesn't give a and all he wants is his free tattoo? I'm screwed. Stomach tattoo, huh? I knew you could do it. Well, if you knew I could do it, why wouldn't you give it to somebody else that couldn't? That wouldn't be no fun. Yeah, I was giggling a little bit. I was like, oh, man, Sausage is going to have his work cut out. Yeah, you didn't give a shit about me or the competition or anything else. Really? We picked you a good one. Yeah, because ultimately I was able to reel him back in, and he's going to get a really cool chest piece. What? Talked him out of it? Uh-huh. So it's, it's all good. Sausage, you slippery little wiener. Every time I give him a hard canvas, he slips out of it. Sausage talked him out of the stomach. God, here he is. Yeah, that little sausage. <laughs> that mother No, right? What are your thoughts, bro? This is not going to work. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted that pillar. Just the pillar, or is it everything else, too? My canvas doesn't want to work with me. He doesn't give a This is not what we discussed at all. It is what we discussed. No, it's not. The... It's not what Here, we discussed I'll get the, at all. I'll get this is not the picture. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I will tattoo myself to stay in this competition, but the last thing I'm going to tattoo on myself is a demon. Being a new man of faith, that goes against my religious beliefs. When I look up pillar, there's this kind of pillar. Is this what you're kind of hoping for then, too? I was kind of hoping that you would do it. I can't let him walk out the door. Four hours remaining. This is going to kind of come in, and then everything's just going to kind of fade off as, as you see it. Is that all right? It's fine. Work? Yes. Cool. And then we'll get you started, OK? You ready? The guys that were up there today, they're gunning for the top people. As much as they sit here and try to throw me under the bus, I'm going to battle my way to win. Mm -hmm. There's a couple bullies that kind of feel that if they give me enough maybe I'll just trip and then I'll fall. But they don't realize that my history has been to take whatever is given to me and absolutely crush it. Karma's a bitch. Artists, today, you had to show negative space with a black and gray demon. Sausage. I gotta admit, when he said gargoyle, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh boy. It just sounds so corny. When I saw it, I was pretty much blown away. There's a lot of layers to it, and it looks like stone, but it has movement and action, and the perspective is odd and different. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. 
The dynamic hand that you have on the foreground is a really nice touch. All that really heavy shading, but with the nice skin breaks, makes it very legible. It doesn't get lost in the background. Overall, man, it's a good job. Sounds like Halo and Scott's attempt at throwing you under the bus may have backfired, huh? I'm hoping so. Well done, man. Thank you. Before we send you back to the loft, the judges have determined a winner. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Sausage. All right, you have six hours to create a tattoo that can hold its own against Tommy Montoya's. And your time starts now. Are you ready to do this? Hey, Jason. Yeah. You think I should move this to his leg? I mean, that is your M.O., dude, to get off the ribs. I think I got a bunch of talkers to prove something to, so might as well just do what the guy wants. Big piece there, bro. I'm trying to shut some people up. I am so tired of everybody telling me that I can't do a rib tattoo. That's not something that I'm afraid of. I am doing the biggest tattoo possible on this guy's side. Normally, I would have told you all this stuff and talked you out of it, but... Not today. This is my chance to shut up all the haters. I'm really going to prove a point. I can't give them any reason whatsoever to not give me the title. I dig it, man. I'm just happy I got it done. It's a huge tattoo. Thank you, boy. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Today, you had to show smooth gradation by tattooing head to head with our guest judge, black and gray expert, Tommy Montoya. Josh. You hit gradation out of the park. The front leg on this tattoo is beautiful. To me, that's your highlight of the whole tattoo. To be honest, it doesn't look that far from my shading. My only complaint is that it's not on my ribs. Time to poll the judges. Who had the best tattoo of the day? I like Josh. It just was clean, it was consistent. Josh and I have been rivals since last time he was here, and I always tell him that his designs are stiff and rigid, and today you found your flow. Final decision. Josh. 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 Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a black and gray Seven Deadly Sins tattoo using only shaders. And your time starts now. Let's do this. OK, come around here. I'm going to put a stance on. OK. Any artist in the room should be proficient with their shader. If these artists know how to choose this battle and give themselves enough space to really show off with the shader, they can do beautiful work. When you set the challenge, you better be the guy that just sets the bar. So far, I'm not seeing it. St. Mark is a completely arrogant douche. When you say I'm a tattoo god, it's a bold statement, man. You better back that one up. If he's such a tattoo god, he should just be able to give his canvas exactly what he wants. I'm feeling really good about this tattoo, and whether I have a liner or not, I will deliver. No around, huh? No, nah, man. I'm here for 100 grand. They should be scared. Today, St. Mark challenged you to take on his specialty, black and gray tattoos using only shaders. Christian, let's start with you. When you heard that this was a shader-only challenge, what was your feeling about that? If you're proficient with your needles, there's no such thing as a liner or a shader. It looks lined. That takes some skill, and that speaks to knowing your fundamentals. This tattoo stands out because right where the rose connects, you give it that nice highlight. That's the proper way to play off a light source, to create edges, to create highlights, and to create depth. You're a definite competitor here. Megan. The details you were able to capture shows that you know a lot about contouring, creating depth and shadows. The perfect placement of the highlight and the pupil, it works incredibly. Using a shader and pulling off all these tricks, I can't wait to see you work with a liner. Thanks. All right, we have to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Megan just pushed herself to cram in as much line work without a liner. I'm with Megan. In terms of creativity, artistry, and technical ability, my vote is for Megan. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Megan. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, guys, Jesse Smith wants to prove to you that he's not just a one-trick pony. So he challenged you to tattoo a black and gray portrait. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Hey, up here. Shake it off, man, stand normal. Jesse Smith comes back swinging, calls out black and gray portraits. I love it. Wow, it's so surreal now. 
Doing a portrait, precision is everything. Every single line, every single dot, every single bit of shading has to be perfect. If not, your portraits will look like What's your favorite style of tattoo? This right here. Portraits. I do it all the time. If there was a dictionary definition of a one-trick pony, it would have a picture of Jesse Smith. He might think that he went out and practiced portraits, but he just walked into a viper's den full of people who are killer at portraits. The trickiest part is just like all these little subtle wrinkles and stuff. Looking good. Gonna be pretty rad. I need to crush this today. I need to let everybody know in the house that this wasn't even a competition. This one? Oh. You need a little more contrast. This portrait has the least opportunity to shine because I'm working on dark skin. So the ability to create a massive amount of contrast is very difficult. It's the great thing about this show is it kind of highlights your weaknesses. But one Trick Pony has been the word that has stuck with me ever since I left season two. I came back to shut that down. Oh, I love this tattoo. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Today, Jesse challenged you to tattoo a portrait of a political figure so well known that the tiniest flaw will be obvious. Jesse, let's begin with you. I really love the tattoo, and I honestly can't believe that this is the same artist that did Black and Gray that we saw in season two. I completely applaud you for having the balls to come back in here and call this your shot. Great job. Christian. You really get the personality and the look of this person. You cut down on the number of wrinkles, but kept the direction and the flow of the wrinkles just right. The actual way that you do the hair coming over that right ear, perfect. It's beautiful because her hair is really white and light over that ear. You nail it. This was a great attention to detail. You're definitely ahead of the curve when it comes to portraits. Sausage. I love this tattoo. I love what you've done with the hair. I love the details in the tie. In this particular photo, his eyes are looking in slightly different directions, and you capture that in your tattoo. If you go down to that neck and you look at that highlight and the little white hairs that are showing off that, I didn't miss that. That thing's sick. Probably the best tattoo you've done here so far. All right, guys, now it's time to determine a win for today. Christian and Sausage, that's the fight at hand here today for me. The JFK is incredible, but I look at the accuracy of the shading in Christian's tattoo. That's pretty amazing. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Christian. All right, guys, you have six hours to face off head to head. Win the face off, and you have earned your spot in the live finale. And your time begins now. All right. Woo! Today, the stakes are the highest they're going to be. Are you so stoked, Final Four? Yeah, it's a tough one, though. Christian and Anthony have some of the strongest black and gray we've ever seen in this competition. Looks like 100 grand to me. But Clean and James are both proficient at what they do. I got to make sure it's perfect. They want it to be too huge. This is going to be an epic battle. Here we go. Sorry I'm not talkative, man. I'm in the zone. No, no, yeah, do your thing. I feel like going into this face-off. I'm mentally and physically exhausted. You got this, man. Yeah. You're here to get a badass tattoo, man. Every tattoo from now on is a $100,000 tattoo. Four guys left. No room for error. I'm focused like a laser beam. I'm looking at every single hair on this wolf, and every one of them is going to be sculpted perfect. This has to be the best piece I've ever done, so I'm definitely having fun with this one. It's awesome. What the hell you doing over there, James? You adding a whole wolf pack or something? Oh, hell no. <laughs> you better get busy. I got one more person to get rid of, and I'm in the finale. I've been here forever. James just got here. There is no way I can let him win this. You guys ain't just laying down, are you? I ain't no easy win, mother Three hours to go, everybody. little <laughs> dog. Yep. Yep. Dang, look at that thing right there, dude. You're killing me. I don't do black gray like you guys. How's it looking? Uh, I plan on showing everything I was taught in this competition. I'm showing artistry by choosing to draw this thing and not trace it. I'm showing technical application by pulling smooth, consistent lines. I'm showing gradation by bringing my solid, rich blacks to smooth, feathery finishes. That's ridiculously dope, dude. It's beautiful, it's smooth, and it ensures my way to the finale. I'm 
I'm like, hurry the up and get done. Pretty anxious, huh? I'm trying to hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. This is really amazing. That thing's your whole damn leg, dude. It's incredible. Thank you, man. It's awesome. I really like the background just popping it out. That's killer. James's tattoo looks like a rabid raccoon defending a marshmallow patch. There's no way on earth that anybody is going to pick James's tattoo over mine. Guess what? I'm going to the finale. Today, the new artists got to call their shots facing off with each of the veterans. The winner of each face-off will earn a spot in the live finale. It's time to see how you did. Christian and James, you tattooed a realistic black and gray wolf. Christian, let's start with you. Did you pick a subject and style that was your wheelhouse and something that you excel at, or was it something that maybe you thought James was lacking in ability? This whole time we've been playing their game, I figured, you want to get to the end, you got to play mine. What I love about this tattoo the most is the composition. I love the way that you laid out the deep set black in the tree line behind it, and then you give us that mountain scene, and then you break off into the sky. It has nice layers and textures individually that set each range apart. That's black and gray tattooing at its finest. James. The problem I have with this tattoo is the posture of the wolf. It almost looks a little bit afraid. It doesn't have the fierce, ferocious feel that I would picture these animals to have. You have a lot of nice little small crisp details, especially in the face of the wolf. But the way you end your tattoo is such a harsh, squarish oval shape. Anthony and Clean, you tattooed a realistic black and gray female no tracing. Clean. How was it drawing this design? I didn't get any sleep at all. You know, it's not like I've never drawn a girl before, but if you're not drawing them all the time, it's tough. Was it an intentional move to hide the hands? Oh, well, yeah, you know, hands are tough to tattoo when you're tracing them, let alone when you're just drawing them from scratch. The proportions are correct, black and gray not being your specialty. This is really smooth shading, a lot of solid black areas, a lot of contrast. One of the shining moments in this tattoo is the highlight on the edge of her breast where it's back behind the black background. Really creates dimension and contrast to her body. But the tip of the nose, the shading instead of the eyes, got away from me just a little bit. The only section that I feel was a little bit strange is the ribs. Hard lining the ribs like that gives them a really inset feel that makes her look a little hungry. Anthony. Overall, you deliver in this tattoo. You have a tough, hard aesthetic with a lot of rich black. The way that you shaded those knuckles that dark, but then just left that little bit of a highlight on there, it's gutsy. You really understand how to use the silhouetting, the shadowing, the richness. Those are tricks that not many people with five years under their belt have. All right, guys, time to make some seriously difficult decisions. Two spots in the live finale are on the line. Between Christian and James, who wins this head-to-head? -head? There's a lot of similarities in both these tattoos. The tone, the contrast. Christian's has a very strong, stern feeling to the wolf because of the position. James, because you chose a less dynamic position, you don't get that grand feeling. The judges have decided the winner of this head-to-head face-off is Christian. Congratulations, Christian. You have earned a spot in the live finale. Thank you guys very much. I very much appreciate it. You earned it, man. You've shown a lot of different levels and facets to your game. Your black and gray is some of the nicest we've seen in this competition. Congratulations. I'm just blown away. All right, guys, between Anthony and Clean, I need a final decision. If you just look at the bare bones of them, they're both nice figure drawings. But Anthony's ability to cast a realistic look and the dimension and the depth in these dark shadows really, really stands out strong. I do like both of these tattoos a lot. Anthony just came up with a softer, more refined, beautiful approach than Clean did. Hair versus hair, Anthony gets him. Face versus face, Anthony gets him. Pose and the fact that the hands are in there, Anthony gets him. The judges have decided the winner of this head-to-head -head face off is Anthony. Congratulations, Anthony. 
you have earned a spot in the live finale. I'm at a loss, man. Thank you. Anthony, you took out some of our toughest competitors that this competition has ever seen from any season, including two veterans that you're sharing the stage with now. Congratulations. It's been just a great honor to watch you work. OK, artists, you have six hours to face off tattooing against your teammate. One artist from each team will be eliminated. Your time begins now. All right, let's do this, brother. Let's do it. Let's get this this one. Face-off situations create one of two things, complete success or total failure. Can I see that stencil? I'll just work through it, add all the texture I need. The battle royale begins. What do you think, Gia? My personal opinion would be to angle it down, because it's more flattering on the body. I'm kind of liking the way that it's placed. You know, don't but... change your plans. Both teams are doing animals for black and gray realism. Texture is abundant. Wet pupils, feathers, fur, teeth. Today would be a great day for somebody to really show off. I suggested tilting the head, because right now it's like falling back on the thigh. And he was like, mm, no. If you don't take advice from people that know what they're talking about, your tattoo is going to suffer. Especially going up against me. I think Team Nunez picked black and gray animal portraits so I could not only beat Dave, but obliterate him. The majority of what I do is animal portrait work. Unless lightning strikes me, Dave's going home. I ain't gonna lie. I knew that Dave would take offense to it because he knows that Nate can do this stuff. That's the name of this game. I feel like both teams are really working together and plotting against me. What we're shooting for today is texture. I ain't worried about nothing else. I'm capturing texture in this by showing the smoothness of the horns and every wrinkle in this rhino's face. Double elimination, this is crazy. I feel like the team who picked the subject matter most definitely hooked me up. Black and gray realism is my wheelhouse. Good job with the liner, man. Boy, this gonna be a tough one. I think Savon's got me, man. That rhino is tough, bro. Both of them tough, bro. Yeah, but he's got all the texture. I've never done a portrait of an animal. I do American traditional tattooing. There's no texture in that. I'm going to go back in and add darker, like, feather shadows in there. I think that'll create more of a highlight, too. That's red as It is pretty red. He kind of beat that Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. It's already a lot less red. Yeah. Dave's tattoo is looking like it hurts. The skin looks red, inflamed. Bye, Dave. <sighs> yeah, that looks good, dude. Thanks, man. The texture of it's like you can almost pet it. I'm happy with this. Today, you faced off against your teammate. As you know, this is a double elimination. Let's start with Team Nunez. John and Servan, you tattooed black and gray realistic animals head to head. One of you will be packing your machines. John, you're up first. The pattern that you got on the back of the bird was a nice touch to try to show some of the variance in the feathers and the patterns that they have. I do see some nice texture under the neck. I think you went a little dark on the beak. If you keep the beak lighter, it shows more depth in the black. Let's move on to Servan. Brilliant tattoo. You really got some areas of depth and you really got these creases. If you look into the eye where the wrinkles close around the eye, the eye looks really inset. You pulled off some really, really nice technical things here. And the way that you were mindful of leaving that tiny little highlight on the upper lip before it joins to the bottom lip, those are really nice tricks. I think it's the best thing that you've shown us. I mean, you can picture rubbing your hand across this guy and feeling all the textures and creases in his skin. It just hits the challenge for me. It's killer, dude. OK, Team Peck, you're up. Dave and Nate, you tattooed black and gray realistic animals head to head. One of you will be packing your machines. Nate. Your use of negative in here was really nice. These areas were without any lines at all. You still have the inference of these whisker type feathers going off the eyes and in front of the beak. If you look at the top of the head and you see those little negative spaces, it looks like you could brush your finger over the top of that and those would individually move every single time. That is top notch work. For you to be able to come in under pressure and knock this thing out of the park like this, I mean, I couldn't expect you would ever be in the bottom again. Dave. It's 
very recognizable. You did a pretty good job throughout the face and the eye, getting those nice little shines, those details. You're missing some strong elements of outline in this. That mouth is lost with the background. If you squint, it all becomes almost the same feel. Black and gray realism is not my strong suit. It looks just messy. I need a final decision. Who's going home? Nate, this is a stunning tattoo, man. Dave. The judges have decided, Dave, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. All right, guys, time to determine who's going home on Team Nunez. John, you don't do this, and you came out swinging. And Servan, this is definitely the best tattoo you've produced. Basing it on texture, I do believe that Servan won. John, my vote's for you to go home. The judges have decided, John, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. This is not a bad outing. It's just a pity that this is where you make the first outing. It's a tough one. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you.